Hi everyone, I hope y'all are doing okay. Today we are back to do another declutter for 2022. And I don't know how the rest of y'all are feeling, but I am overwhelmed by the amount of things that I have going on in my life and the things that are taking up space in my home. So I would really like to cut down on quite a lot of this. And I would also like to mention that a lot of the things I will be getting rid of today are going to be on my Poshmark. So I will have my Poshmark details listed down below in the description if you are interested in any of the makeup that I am going to be getting rid of today. Um, of course, the makeup that I'm going to be getting rid of is lightly used or not used at all. But let's go ahead and get started. So to get started, let's go ahead and take a look at the primers that I have in here. I think I have four. We have the JCAT H2O Fresh Dewy Base Primer. I'm definitely going to keep this one. I really like it. It's also super inexpensive. I would definitely recommend um, if you're looking for a hydrating primer. This one is the Flower Beauty In Your Prime. Again, I really love it. It's a green primer so it helps with the pore minimizing like it says but then it also does help with redness so I'm going to keep this one too okay so one that I'm going to be getting rid of is actually this um by Terry primer it's one that I got in a boxycharm and I actually still have not used it um so it's brand new in the box I don't think that I need it so I'm gonna just get rid of this one Another one I'm going to get rid of um, is this Tarte C Glotion. Um, I've used it once. It's actually kind of a golden color, and I am a very, very pale skin tone. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't look orange on your face once you rub it in, but it's just, it's not something that I'm going to reach for. Okay, let's just take a look at the concealers real quick. Just really briefly because I already know that I'm keeping all of these. Um, I have an e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade Fair Beige. I have a Revolution primer. Um, it's just a white. And then I have the Tarte Shape Tape also in the shade Fair Beige. And I know I'm going to keep all three of these. Okay, next let's go through um, foundations. I might have a bit of a problem uh, with foundations. The thing is, I don't wear it most days. Um, I actually work for a surgical center, um, and like everywhere else, we still wear masks all day, every day. So I tend not to wear foundation now. Um, <laughs> and I don't get much use out of these, but I still have the dilemma that I just, I still don't want to get rid of them. Um, I think I definitely should though. Um, especially this Too Faced Born This Way, honestly, is probably way past expired. Um, yeah, it says 12 months and I think I've had this for over a year. So I'm going to, um, we're going to get rid of this one. And then I am also going to get rid of my Wet n Wild. I love this, by the way. And I love the Too Faced one that I mentioned before. I love both of these and I will definitely repurchase them if I ever don't have to wear a mask all day every day again. Okay, um, this one I really love. It's a 4-in-1 um, tinted moisturizer from Pure. I'm going to keep this one because when I do wear foundation, this is the one that I use. And then, like I said, I don't wear foundation often. But I have not even gotten to try these yet, so I'm going to keep these two. This is a Revolution Super Dewy Skin Tint. And this is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. So I'm going to keep both of these. Let's look at setting sprays. Um, I'm going to get rid of this first one. But it, it smells like a greenhouse. Not in the sense that it, like, it does not smell like flowers. <laughs> it really smells like a tomato plant that has just been rained on or something. And it's great if you like that smell. Um, it's just not my favorite. Although the mister on this is super nice. 
Um, it's kind of like the uh, Morphe setting spray. But I'm going to get rid of this one. So I have two from Smashbox. Um, the Love Ritual and the Crystal Clarity. And if I remember correctly, I believe I just opened this one. These two are hard because I know I have had them for two years. They still smell fine, and so that's why I've kept them for so long. But I rarely do my makeup anymore. And so I don't feel like in my right mind I should keep these. <laughs> knowing that I've had them for two years and that I rarely ever need to set my face. So I'm going to just toss these because I'm sure that they are past the recommended use date. Um, this Anastasia Dewey set I am going to keep. I've only used it a few times, but I do really like it and I enjoy it. I am definitely going to keep my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I do love this one. I have this tiny little Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. I'm just going to get rid of this. Next, I have the um, ELF collaboration with Jen. I absolutely love this. The mist is great. The smell is great. I have zero complaints. I think I even have a backup um, in a drawer that we'll go through later. So yeah, I'm going to keep this one. Okay, let's just take these bronzers um, for a second. I am most definitely keeping my butter bronzer. And I have the, um, the light bronzer for my translucent skin tone. Uh, next we have the Too Faced. I think this one is the milk chocolate. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to keep this one. And then I also have the Too Faced Sun Bunny. It's really pretty. It's just, it's dark on me. So I'm just going to pass it on to someone else. Okay, this next one is a Kylie bronzer. Um, and this is in the shade Khaki. It's pretty. I just don't need it. I'm keeping the other two. I only have one face and I don't do my makeup all that often. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Next we'll do setting powders or finishing powders. Whatever you prefer to call them. So we have this from Anastasia Beverly Hills that I am going to keep. I got this in a boxy charm and I have not used it yet. But I am going to keep this one. And I have this NYX HD Finishing Powder, and I do really like this one. This is one that I continuously buy over and over again. You can see how dirty it is. I use it every time I do my makeup. So I am definitely keeping this. Um, next, I have this Becca um, Finishing Powder. It, it's the um, Pink Haze Soft Light Powder. Um, I have not used this even once. So I'm just going to get rid of this one. It'll be on my Poshmark if you're interested. So we got some sponges back here. We're, in, we're, just, we're, we're gonna keep them. Okay, so next we're gonna go through the blushes. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably not getting rid of any. <laughs> um, I have a problem. We have the NARS Orgasm. I was an idiot. And I bought the big one. I've mentioned it in a couple videos. Um, it's fine. It's just, but it's like, it's just fine. I don't, I don't get the, the big deal about it, honestly. Like, do, do you? Like, you can be honest with me. Like, I'm going to keep it because I spent $40 on it. And I guess I kind of have a similar rant for the, um hourglass again I paid however much money for this and it's pretty it's pretty but like is it is it worth that much money I don't know again it's beautiful and I'm definitely gonna keep it because I paid how much money for it but um I think it just kind of goes to show that you really don't have to have the expensive brands of makeup. 
Like, you really don't. Like, I love this blush. I think it's called Sweet Pea. Yeah, it's called Sweet Pea Pink. And I absolutely love it. It's the second one I've owned. And it's so much more pigmented. Like, it's, it's a beautiful peachy color. And I absolutely love it. And... This blush, when I bought it, was like $3.99. Then I'm definitely keeping this one. This is Lovey Dovey. Oh, and in case you were curious about uh, which color this was, it's the Incandescent Electra. Oh, there you go. So next we have these mosaic blushes. I think I am going to get rid of these two. They are amazing, honestly. Like, they're good. And I might change my mind. <laughs> I should not change my mind. But I might. No. You know what? I'm going to get rid of them. I just don't gravitate towards them. I really love the J.Cab Beauty blushes. Um, and these BH Cosmetic blush palettes. And I reach for those more than I reach for these. So I'm just going to pass these on to a family member or a friend that might want them. Okay, so next I'll go through these um, BH Cosmetic palettes. I have two. The Vanilla Cream. I am missing a shade. It came crumbled, but I still love the, th the other three shades. And then I have Vanilla Peach Truffle. And I love all of these. So I am going to keep both of these palettes. I love them. Definitely recommend. They're like $12 a palette. You get four blushes inside. And it's just... They're amazing, honestly. They're good quality. Next, I have what I call my blush toppers. Um, I have one from Wet n Wild and the Don't Flutter Yourself. And it's just a, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. It's too dark to be a highlight for me, so I use it as a blush topper and it works perfectly. And then I have the Becca highlight in the shade Lilac Geode, again. Um, too dark to be a, um, highlight for me, but beautiful as a blush topper. So I'm going to keep this one as well. And then I have two of these cover effects duos. Uh, this one is in the shade soft peach. Definitely keeping. The next one is in the mauve. Definitely keeping. I'm actually going to swatch these. Um, this is a soft peach. I don't know. Honestly, I think it's too dark for me, so I'm going to get rid of this one. And then the mauve. Let's see. I want to keep the mauve um, just because I think it suits my skin tone better. Okay, there's one drawer done. So next is my highlighters, single eyeshadows, glitter, and then here we have like brow products, um, eyeliners, mascaras, and then over here we have eyeshadow palettes, and I actually have more to add to this. So I just uh, got this from Ulta. It's part of the... Um, Hocus Pocus. It's part of the Hocus Pocus collection. Um, it's a ColourPop Super Super Shock Shadow um, in the shade Forever Bewitching. And I haven't actually swatched this yet, so let's let's do it together. Oh, it's really pretty. Really pretty. Okay. So we'll put this in here and then I was so excited for this my husband and I watched the show honestly we watched about every Star Wars show that they come out with and we both love the Mandalorian and now we're anxiously awaiting um, the next episode of, <laughs> of Boba Fett um, but this is absolutely so pretty and you can see this green like shifts. Can you see it? 
Can you see the shift? It's so pretty. So I'm really excited to have this and I can't wait to use it. But we're going to add this to the drawer. Okay, so let's start with the highlighters. They tend to be my biggest issue. I cannot get rid of highlighters to save my life, I swear. They're just so pretty. I can't, yeah, I just, it's a problem. Okay, but let, let's just, let's, let's just get started. So, I have one from Lime Crime. I think this is the only thing from Lime Crime that I own. Um, and I got it probably at least three years ago at this point. Um, and honestly, I'm gonna finally get rid of it. Not because it's bad, just because I never use it. Like, these colors, I would only ever use as, like, maybe an inner corner highlight. I am not daring enough um, to wear these as, a, like, a cheekbone highlight. And I don't use it. So, we have one more um, highlight palette. This is the Hyper Real Glow by MAC. I love this. It's so pretty. Like, those are shades that I can wear easily. <laughs> so I'm going to keep this one. Next we have this Anastasia Beverly Hills um, loose highlighter in the shade Vegas. Um, as beautiful as this is, I've actually never used it. I've only swatched it. Um, I just, I am a messy, like accident prone person and it terrifies me <laughs> that I am going to get this everywhere. So I'm just going to pass this along before I turn that into a reality. Uh, next is my Too Faced Blinded by the Light. This is one of my favorite highlighters ever. Honestly, I love this thing. And I'm probably going to keep it forever. Not going to lie. Um, I'm keeping it. Absolutely. Let's see, we have the Diamond Glow. I have told you how this broke my heart um, because I was doing a review and this just like popped out. I did not have luck with this. It is beautiful, both of the, both sides, gorgeous. And I'm keeping it despite the heartache that it caused me. Next we have this Becca highlight in the shade Pure Pearl. Again, this is one of my absolute favorites. She is beautiful, and I love her so much. That was a keep, by the way. <laughs> Most definitely a keep. Next, we have Moonstone. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's just a little dark for me, so I am going to get rid of this one. And then we have the shade Pearl. I am going to keep this one um, because it is a white, <laughs> which means that it's not too dark for me. Then we have the shade Prismatic Amethyst. This is a really pretty um, pink. It's kind of a white base, I think. Um, but it's really pretty, and I'm going to keep this one. Then we have the shade Rose Quartz. Which looks like this. Which I do mainly use as a um, blush topper. Um, so I might put this one with the others, because again, it's just a little too dark for me to use as a highlight. Um... But as a blush topper, it's it's really gorgeous. Next, we have this Wet n Wild um, highlighter. It's in the shade Halo Effect. Really pretty. Really affordable. Definitely going to keep this. Ooh, I really like this one. I just think it's such a unique color. It's from Kylie. It's in the shade Princess Please. So it's, it's kind of like a pink, a lavender, and a gold all in one. 
and I think it's so pretty and I'm definitely keeping it. Okay, then we have three Ofra highlighters. This first one is in the shade Retrograde. Really pretty, um, like a pale gold and a lavender. I'm definitely keeping this one. Then we have the shade Star Island. Again, really pretty, kind of a pale gold. Um, we might come back to this one. Let's just see. Oh, it's really pretty. No, I'm keeping it. And then we have the shade Pillow Talk, which is absolutely beautiful to me. It's this pink shade. I just, I love it so much. Definitely keeping Pillow Talk, like, for sure, 100%. No doubts on this one. Upon further inspection, we will be also decluttering these two. We'll be decluttering the Ofra highlighter in the shade Star Island. And we will also be decluttering the Becca highlight in the shade Lilac Geode. So now let's look at these messy thing. These are brow backups. Okay. I mentioned that I have an obsession <laughs> with the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, lash bag, and I was not kidding. Okay, so I think these are the mascaras that I have. I'm going to keep this um, just as a backup mascara. These are the two I currently have open. I have the Big Ego from Tarte and the Lash Bag from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And uh, this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills is my favorite. Um, and I am going to get rid of this one, the Tarte Big Ego. I'm just going to get rid of this one. I've had it open for a while and it's kind of drying out, so we're just going to get rid of it. Keeping my favorite one. And then I have two little minis of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Bag, so keeping those. Okay, let's go through the unnecessary amount of brow products that I have. So I have three pencils. I have the It Brow Power pencil. I think it's called Universal Taupe. I'm going to keep this one just because it's the one that I'm currently using and it matches me pretty, pretty well. Then I have um, this that I received in a boxy charm, and it's in the shade taupe, so it should match me. And then I actually just recently purchased this one, just so I already know I like this, and I'm going to keep it. So I currently have three um, brow gels. I honestly don't use brow gel. So, I'm going to get rid of this. Um, I'm just going to keep this one. This St. Lux brow gel. It's clear, so I don't have to worry about it being too white. And it's already open. And then I am going to declutter the clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Because it is still in the box, unopened, and someone else will get better use out of it. Okay, let's go through eyeliners and shadow sticks. So these are the pencil liners that I have. 
And these are the pencil liners that I don't use. I really honestly don't, but like, why is it so hard for me to get rid of them? Honestly, I don't use them. But it, like, I want to keep the light purple and the black, definitely. Because if I do use liners, that's what I use. Um, I really like this alkaline. It's like a really pretty kind of deep red maroon. And then I'm going to get rid of these three. I have mainline, deep end, and smoke. And they're beautiful. And they're really great. And they're from Urban Decay. I just don't use eyeliner. I just, I don't. If I do, I use a liquid liner and I use it for a wing. Like, I don't, I don't know. I just don't use these. Next, I have a couple shadow sticks. These are both from e.l.f. One is in the shade Rose Quartz, and this one is in the shade Perfect Pearl. Um, they're fine. I just, like, I don't use them. I, I just, I don't. I'm not the biggest fan of shadow sticks to begin with, and I, I got them just to try them out to see if they would be good on no makeup days. And when I tried to put them on over my concealer, like it just doesn't show up. I don't know if I'm using it wrong, if I need to like, like run it over the back of my hand and then try to like dab it and put it on my face that way. But if I try to apply it directly from here, like it just, it does not work out in my favor. Um, and I don't want to fight it, so I'm just going to pass these along. And then I have two liquid liners. I have one felt tip and one liquid, and I'm going to keep both of these. This is the Too Faced um, Better Than Sex liquid liner, and then this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid liner. They're both amazing. I would recommend both of these. Then we have two brow pomades. I have the Big Ego from Tarte. And this one is in the shade Medium Brown. And then we have the Tame and Frame um, in the shade Brunette. Um, and I really like both of these. They're really easy to manage. They're not too soft where they make a mess. Um, and they're not too waxy where it's hard to get any pigmentation. They're like both perfect. So I'm going to keep both of these. I have one liquid shadow from e.l.f. It's in the shade Disco Queen. And I really don't use liquid shadow. You know when you're like cleaning out your makeup or going through it or just playing with it? Like, you know you just have to accept that you're going to have glittery hands and glittery arms by the time you're done. Okay, so next I have this little bin, clear bin of uh, single shadows. And I honestly don't reach for these much, um, so we'll probably get rid of some here. I am, even though I still have not used it, I am keeping this. It's just such a bright, vibrant glitter that I will find a reason to use this one day, I swear, and I'm keeping it. Um, let's see. I have three ColourPop shadows. Um, this is the one that I just got, part of the Hocus Pocus collection. Keeping that one. I have Bubbly, which is this really pretty pink color. I'm going to keep this. And we have Sail Away, which is a really pretty peachy golden color. I'm going to keep this one. And then I have two of these foil shadows um, from Ulta Beauty. They are really pretty, but they're so messy. So I'm going to get rid of this dark one. It's just not one that I use. I don't tend to go super dark on my eyeshadow. 
and like I said it gets everywhere so the one time that I did use this it got all over my face and I had done my foundation first and it was just it it was a wreck <laughs> it was a mess but do your eyes first and then it would be beautiful Um, but I am going to keep this one. It's a gold. Um, and it's just, it's really pretty. So I am going to keep this one, even though it's a little messy. Y'all win. <laughs> Someone wins. I'm finally going to get rid of this. Um, I've had it for so long. Um, I'm not going to sell this because like I said, I've, I've had it for quite a while and I think I should just toss it because I've had it for at least three years so this is just gonna go in the trash and then I have this um, moon dust urban decay eyeshadow really pretty pale gold super pretty definitely gonna keep Okay, I have another um, highlight palette. As you can see, I did swatch them, but I have not used it, so I'm going to put this on my Poshmark. I just, I don't use it, and I have highlighters that I love, so we're going to pass this one along. Ooh, these are new um, from Juvia's Place. I have the Rebel eyeshadow palettes in the shade mints and grays and they are so pretty I love this and mints they're so pretty it's such pretty colors oh my goodness Oh my goodness. Look at them. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Definitely keeping. Uh, next we have my Mandalorian. I already showed you this and I'm definitely keeping it. Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I am definitely keeping this one. I absolutely love this palette. If I, for some reason, ever did not have this palette if I dropped it and shattered it. This is the only high-end palette that I would ever run out and repurchase because I can use it for absolutely any occasion. And these are colors that if I didn't do my makeup every day, that I would wear every day. So definitely keeping. Uh, the same goes for this, actually, um, the, my Naked 2. Granted, this did not cost me as much <laughs> as the Natasha Denona, but I would run out and repurchase this in a heartbeat if I ever dropped it, lost it, or broke it. <laughs> I guess dropping it and breaking it would probably be the same thing. Okay, uh, next we have the Revolution Pro Ultimate Eye Look Palette. In the sh oh, there it is. Diamonds and Pearls is the um, palette name. Look how pretty it is, first of all. It's so pretty. Okay, I'll open it now. So, um, I love this. Like, it's just everything you need. It's so pretty. I'm keeping it. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I bought this for the cow print. I'm not going to lie to you. And I only got it like a week ago. But look at the inside. I thought it was so cute. These pastel colors. I love it. So I'm definitely keeping this one. And then we have the Naked 3 mini. I really do like this one too. I had the big naked palette um, years ago and I just didn't use all the colors in it so I ended up giving it away to someone who would get better use of it. Um, but I love this little mini one. It's perfect. Like it's all the shades that I want 
to use. So I'm keeping that. Oh, this is another new one that I just got recently. This is the Essence Taupe It Up. It's just this little six pan palette with, honestly, these are perfect for me. Like these are my colors, if you have not noticed, are like the taupes and like ashy browns. I just, that is it for me. And I love it. And these were like $3.99 at Ulta. It's amazing. And they have others. There's like, there's a coral, um, a blue, a green. There's this one. And I think there's a purple. They're, they're really pretty, honestly. Look at how pretty. It's so pretty. They're really pretty colors. They feel amazing. They look so good. Okay, so next we have these from Huda Beauty. We have the Pastels Mint and the Pastels Rose. Um, most of you are already aware of the heartbreak I faced with the Rose palette. Uh, it's still cracking and getting all over the rest of these shades. I really love this yellow. I love this yellow and that's all I ever use in this palette. If I'm being perfectly honest. And I do like this one as well. Like those are both really pretty. If I could depot just those, I would get rid of the rest of this palette, honestly. Um, hmm. Just wondering. Do I keep an eyeshadow palette for two shades? I feel like I shouldn't. No, I'm going to get rid of it. Because the thing is, I have other palettes of single eyeshadows. So we'll go through those here in a second. And then this one is beautiful. I really like this. I really like these colors. Keeping that one. And then we are most definitely keeping this one. This is the um, Sweet Pinks by Juvia's Place. They're so bright and so vibrant. I love it. I love it so much. And these are my singles. I put them all in these Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, magnetic palettes. So in here, I keep like pinks and neutrals. <laughs> and this is an Ofra highlighter. Um, but, and then as you can see, I depotted some um, Jeffree Star palettes that I had um, that I've gotten rid of. Um, I think I've gotten rid of all of my Jeffree Star palettes at this point. Let me know if you guys would be interested in a video where I go through all of my single shadows. Because for now, I am going to keep all of them. I don't have very many, so honestly, it wouldn't be a very long video, but I could probably go through them. Oh, this one does not want to stick to its sticker, but yeah, so those are all my singles. So next we are doing lip products and I... I need to be brutal, in all honesty, because like this is a problem. We wear masks all day, every day at work. I can't even wear lip products. Like lip glosses, this is all lip gloss. I can't wear lip gloss under a mask. Like, do you know how, ew, how sticky and messy? Just like, no. Tarte Man Eater, haven't used it once. Um, probably never gonna use it. I'm gonna get rid of it. Milani Ludicrous Lights. Really pretty. I never use it and I can't wear lip gloss right now. Hardly ever. So we're going to get rid of it. Let's just, let's just grab some and roll with it. Okay. 
Florence by Mills. Um, we're going to keep this one. It's got a really pretty blue shift to it. I really like it. It's called Dreamy Mills. We're going to keep this one. And we are going to declutter this one in the shade Radiant Mills. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I just don't get use out of it. Anastasia Beverly Hills. We are keeping Miss Unnamed. Look how pretty she is. So pretty. And we are most definitely keeping Pink Daiquiri. So pretty. And we are keeping clouds. Okay, wet and wild. I am keeping both of these. We're keeping both. They are in the shades see this is cancer and this is pisces and um we are keeping both of these queens because they are stunning so much for being brutal okay um buxom lip glasses i am going to get rid of miss kimber kimberly And I am going to keep Miss Dominique. Um, there we go. All right, Ulta lip glosses. Um, let's see. We're gonna keep Starry Sky. And then we're going to get rid of pink rose and rose. A Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Sweet Mouth. I am most definitely keeping this one. I'm going to keep the Roller Gloss from ColourPop. Actually, I just wanted to let you know. I just smelled this and it doesn't smell like how it used to so I am actually going to get rid of this one uh, Morphe gloss and from Madison beer it's just not my color I'm gonna get rid of this next better glasses um, these are really great I just like I said I don't use lip glosses right now and if I did these aren't the ones I would reach for so I'm gonna get rid of these these Revolution Glosses, um, these are Shimmer Bombs, and I have the shades Glimmer and Sparkle, and I'm going to keep both of these. And then I have the Hydra Balm, oh, sorry, <laughs> the Hydra Balm also from Revolution, just a really nice clear gloss, and I really like this, so I'm going to keep it. Okay, next, let's do liquid lipsticks. So we got some from Morphe. So we have this really pretty maroon uh, red that I'm going to keep. Um, it's in the shade Bloodshot. And I'm actually going to keep all three of these. I really like the colors. Uh, they're all pretty neutral. And they're liquid lipsticks. So I can wear them under a mask if I need to as well. So I have the shades uh, Virgin, Schoolgirl, and Vanity. So I'm going to keep all three of these. Alright, Miss Kylie. Um, I just, I don't know. I'm going to keep this one. Um, this is Posy K. I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep Miss Posy K. I am going to keep Surprise Me. And I am going to declutter Party Girl. 
Uh, these are uh, the last two liquid lipsticks I have from Jeffree Star. Um, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to declutter. Are you filming? Oh, come back. Focus. There we go. I'm going to declutter. Are you filming? But I am going to keep, um, let's see, what? I am going to keep Jeffrey what the fuck. Next, we'll go through the bullet form. Oh, wait. I knew I was missing one. This dose of colors in the shade Flirty. I am most definitely keeping. It's my favorite. Okay. So, let's go through the KKW lipsticks. I have four. So these are the colors that I have. Um, let's see, I have pink two and pink four. So this is pink two. I'm gonna keep that for now. Then this is pink four. I'm gonna keep this one too. And then I have Candy Apple Red and Classic Red. So, this is Classic Red. And this is Candy Apple Red. Let me look at them next to each other. So this is classic and this is candy apple. I think I'm just going to keep candy apple and I will declutter classic. And we have two of these um, Milani lipsticks. Here are the shade names. Here we go. And I just, I don't know. I really like them, and I really liked them when I bought them, but I just don't use them. I think I'm going to keep this obnoxious pink, um, but I'm going to declutter this one um, in the shade Crave. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this one and declutter this one. Uh, next, I have two from NYX, and I am going to keep both of these. I have Natural, really pretty. I haven't used these yet. And then I have Up the Base, which is this really cool, unique, like, purple shade. I'm going to keep both of those for now. And this one is Ravenswood from Urban Decay. Um, I keep this um, mostly for sentimental. This is not the obviously the exact um, lipstick that I wore on my wedding day, but it is the color that I wore on my wedding day, so I'm going to keep this. I have this um, Bare Minerals uh, Perception lipstick. Um, it's pretty. I'm probably not going to use it. I've never even swatched it, so I'm going to get rid of this one. We have three of these plumping lip balms from Becca. Definitely going to keep the... It's blue, but it's actually clear. I'm going to keep that one. Um, I'm going to keep the bright pink um, in the shade Spray. And I'm going to declutter this orangey one um, in, the in the shade um, Surge. And for uh, pencils, I have this Becca in the shade Blissful. I'm just going to get rid of it. I don't use it. It's fine. <laughs> oh, this is in the shade Posy K. I'm keeping the liquid lipsticks. So I'm going to keep the pencil as well. Um... And then this is in the shade Party Girl. I'm just, I'm going to get rid of it. I 
I have this uh, Revolution Velvet Kiss Lip Crayon in the shade Cupcake. I really like it. I'm going to keep this one. Then I have two lip liners from them. I have the shade White Wedding, which is this really pretty color. And then I have the shade uh, Cutie, which is this really pretty pink. So I'm going to keep that one. I have this... Okay, but we are going to go through this mess today. And along with this mess, I have a couple things. A couple things that weren't in there. Um, that need to be in there. These are the only makeup wipes I have right now. I'm pretty sure I got them in a BoxyCharm. But... I really like them and they're witch hazel so they're really gentle on the skin. One thing that I didn't have in there that I am going to get rid of is this um, M Greengrass Skin Care. It's a foaming body scrub. I just don't see myself using this so I'm going to get rid of it. This, this 111 skin, I don't know how you're supposed to say it, 111 skin, 111 skin. Um, antioxidant energizing essence. As you can tell, it's still in the box. It's really nice, I'm sure, but I've never used it. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm very simple when it comes to my skincare routine and I don't like adding a bunch of new things. So I've never used this and I'm just going to add it to my Poshmark if anyone's interested. Um, SB2 Hair Serum. Again, in the box. Really pretty, really nice bottle. Um, I just have not used it and I probably won't. I have other hair serums that I'm already using, so I'm just going to get rid of this one as well. Let's see. Sea Minerals Mist. Let's see. Balanced Mineral Hydration Supercharged Toning Mist to Balance, Hydrate, and Soothe. Organic Seaweed, Aloe Vera, and Mineral Peptides Restore Skin's Mineral Balance All Day. Um, I'm sure this is great. Like I said, I just don't add many new things to my skincare routine. And I'm just going to pass this along. Um, Dermalect Outcrease Retinol Trifecta Serum. Let's see. Application. Apply on a, or apply on cleansed skin. A drop to the cheek, forehead, and under eyes. It's a really nice glass bottle. I'm pretty sure it's a dropper, so someone will love this. I'm, I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, this is one thing that I am keeping. It's um, LMS Superfood Facial Oil. Um, I am going to keep this one. This is just some backup chapstick, but um, I am going to keep Um, Bump Boss Microderm Body Scrub from Peach and Lily. I'm just, I don't see myself using this. I'm going to get rid of it. Um, Juice Beauty Green Apple Brightening Gel Cleanser. I do actually like this cleanser. I've used it before and this is something that I bought as a backup. So I'm going to keep this one. And I really like pharmacy, so I am definitely going to keep this and try it. And this is something that I actually bought for my husband. Um, he likes the charcoal cleansers, so I'm going to keep this for him. Oh, this is something I bought because I really want to try it. I haven't opened it yet because I already have a serum that I'm using. But this is the Peach and Lily... Um, glass skin serum. So I'm going to keep this one. Oh, hey, look, another lash bag. I told you this was my favorite. I'm going to keep it. Uh, 
Um, some extra sponges. Definitely going to keep. Um, this is a pharmacy toner that I'm going to keep. A watermelon dew drops. That's so pretty. This doesn't seem like something that's necessary to my skin routine. And I've never used it. So I'm just going to get rid of it now. Let's see. Um, I have like four pairs of lashes hiding down here. Um, really pretty lashes. And I'm going to keep them. Next we have this um, Clean Skin Club. It's the Pineapple Glow Mist. Hyaluronic Acid, Peptides, and Antioxidants. I actually really like the look of that. I might keep this. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. I think these are more lip products. Oh, this is a Dr. Brandt eye cream that I've never used. I'm going to get rid of that one. Here we have Bolly Balm, Sweet Orange, and Coconut. I'm going to keep that. And... Let's see, Seraphine Botanicals Lip or Glow Lip Mask. I'm gonna keep it. Anti Puff Anti Dark Circle Serum. I think I'll keep this one. Oh, another hair oil. I'm gonna just get rid of this. Um, back up to my e.l.f. setting spray. I'm gonna keep this. Lash glue. This is Sunshine Dew Antioxidant Cleansing Oil. Um, it doesn't sound like something I'll use, and I've never used it, so I'm going to just declutter this. Green Apple Age Defy Moisturizer. I'm going to keep this one. LMS Plumping Pillow Facial. I'm going to keep it. Kate Somerville Exfolicate Glow Moisturizer. I'll keep it. Uh, Muran City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. Um, never used it. I'm just gonna get rid of it. Pineapple Haze CBD Glossy Lip Butter. That actually sounds delicious. I'm going to keep it. Rainbow Sherbert. Uh, it's just a lip scrub, and I'm going to keep it. Vitamin C Ester Citrus Brightening Cleanser. I don't, I don't foresee myself using this, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Okay, that is everything. Let me put everything back into the drawers and clean the drawers out, and I will be back to show you guys the finished drawers. All right, everyone, here is the first drawer finished. It's definitely much neater. Like it's not as crowded. This needs to be cleaned a little bit, but it's definitely looking much better than it was. All right, here's the second drawer. We got the highlights, the single shadows, and then in here we have mascara, liner, um, brow products, and then over here we have the um, built eyeshadow palettes. All right, and then we have. Um, lip glosses, liquid lipsticks, and um, more like bullet type lipsticks here in this one. All right, and then lastly, we have our extras drawer, which is like extra skincare lashes that I hardly use, um, extra brow products, that sorts of stuff, and then the um, wipes that I have out currently. And that is the very last drawer. Really quick, let's just take a look at everything that we have successfully decluttered. All right, and here we have everything that is going to be decluttered. We really got rid of quite a lot, so I am pretty happy with this. Thank you so much for uh, watching the latest declutter. I hope that this year we can all live a little more intentionally. I think 2021 taught us a whole lot of lessons, as did 2020. One of the lessons being that we really don't need this much, and 
don't get me wrong, I still love makeup and I love trying makeup and buying makeup and going through it and playing with it. But I think what I've learned is that I need to not be so excessive and that's just me personally, of course, I'm not going to try to force my opinions onto you. Um, but I hope all of you find great happiness this year. I hope you guys have a wonderful year and thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed um, me getting rid of all of my stuff. And like I've mentioned before, some of this is going to be listed on my Poshmark if it's gently used or not used at all if it's brand new. Um, and the rest of it will go to family and friends and then a select few items will be going just in the trash because they're old, unfortunately. So again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.